Total Pro Sports presents 16 Ways to Spot a Bandwagon Sports Fan If there's one thing that gets on the nerves of a sports fan that's loyal to their team, it's a bandwagon fan. Fans who just cheer for the best team, or simply only follow a team during its successful runs are simply a disgrace to sports fan loyalty. Here are the 16 Ways to Spot a Bandwagon Sports Fan Number 16. Someone with two teams Sometimes there are exceptions. Like if your dad and mom like separate teams. But if you equally cheer for two teams in the same league, you're probably a bandwagon sports fan. Find your team, stay loyal to them, and don't equally cheer for another squad. That's just bandwagonism. Number 15. Fans who only fill up seats during successful runs. There are lots of sports teams that play in empty arenas during the hard years. Of course, once they turn good, it's nearly impossible to get a ticket. Look at Chicago Blackhawks fans. 30th in attendance in 2007, and now suddenly they lead the league in attendance. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that their fans didn't really care about a team who sucked. The Toronto Maple Leafs always sell out despite being the worst team in the NHL in the past 10 years. Always stay loyal. Number 14. A fan who likes the best team in every league. I'm a New England Patriots, San Antonio Spurs, Chicago Blackhawks, and St. Louis Cardinals fan. I also like Germany in soccer and New England in rugby. You don't like those teams, you like bandwagon jumping. Number 13. You haven't always supported your team. I'm sorry, New England Patriots fans outside of New England, but please keep telling me you were a fan of the Pats before Tom Brady and Bill Belichick came along. Same with any fan who hasn't always been loyal to one team all along. Number 12. You switch favorite teams. You were a Cowboys fan in the 90s, a Patriots or Steelers fan in the 2000s. Now you're preparing to become a Seahawks fan? Get out. Number 11. You were a Heat fan for four years. You were a Heat fan before 2011? Have you cheered for them since the start of 2015? If not, then you were simply a Heat fan because of LeBron James, Chris Bosh, and Dwayne Wade. You cheered for a team just because you knew they'd be great. Number 10. You're a fan that leaves early. Heat fans in Game 6 of the 2013 NBA Finals or Seahawks fans in last year's NFC Championship game. I am talking to you. If you are going to leave before the game ends, you basically showed you don't like your favorite team enough to support them when they're losing, even if they come back to win. Number 9. You're Justin Bieber Seriously, have you seen the collection of NBA hats the man wears? It's simply incredible. Number 8. You can't name most of the players, so you've been a Yankees fan all of your life. Can you name 10 players from their World Series teams in the 1990s? It's simple. You should be able to name almost every player on your favorite team, not just the big three. Number 7. You have no reason to like a team. So you live in Upper Canada and your entire family is from Canada. How did you become, say, a Los Angeles Kings fan? Just being honest, you can't like a team for no reason. There should be a special reason behind liking a team. Number 6. You wait until the playoffs. During the regular season, you say, I'm just watching it right now. Then in the playoffs, you're cheering for the best team of the final four teams. You, sir or madam, are a bandwagon fan. You could have said that at the start. Number 5. Fantasy over your team Yes, sometimes you need to cheer for your favorite team's opponent to get a couple of points. But if you want your favorite team to lose because your buddy has their players on his fantasy team, then you're no fan. Loyalty over money, remember that. Number 4. You make no sense in choosing your favorite teams Okay, so you are a fan living in a state that doesn't own a professional sports team. Somehow you like, say, the Seahawks, Blackhawks, Yankees, Spurs, and Alabama in college football. How does that make any sense? Number 3. You trash talk by bringing up championships your team has won. Congrats! Your team hasn't won a championship in 10 years, but you need to keep bringing up how important that is. If your only trash talk is to bring up how many titles your team has won, then you have just showed you only like them for their history. Meanwhile, I'll maintain my dignity and loyalty by supporting my team even if they suck. Number 2. You always pass on chances to see your team live. If you don't cheer for the team in your home city in favor of a team that lives far away, that's one thing. But if they travel to see your home team every year and you decide never to go see them, well then, congratulations. You don't even care enough to see your own team live? Okay, bandwagoner. And number one, you are guilty of one of the things on this list. If you were guilty of anything that was outlined on this list, you'll need to learn how to be a loyal fan. No, being a bandwagon fan isn't the end of the world, but it's a cardinal sin in sports fan lore. And that's it for the 16 ways to spot a bandwagon sports fan. But wait, we're not done with you yet. In the comments below, 
We want to know what team are you ride or die for no matter how bad they do. And as always, for more cool videos, click subscribe.